checking our channel here. This is going to be a test uh, video on a Parmac Mark 8. We're going to see how many um, output joules this particular unit has. Um, on Parmac's website, they, they'll say like um, this unit has X amount of joules, uh, or high joules is this, low joules is that. If we get people that ask me, like, what's the high and joule and low joule? I'm like, I don't know what the hell they're getting at. I think I honestly think the high joule is um, on the website is as a stored, and the low joule is the output joules. It's a high, the stored joules is what's built internally on the capacitor before it as it as it's charging up, and once it discharges, it goes to the transformer and the rest of everything else. Um, there's always loss between the stored and output joules. I think the low joule is the output joules actually at the terminals after it makes its way out. So, so we're going to use this meter here as an energizer performance meter. It will tell us um, but quite a bit of information, honestly. But um, we're going to check peak voltage as well as the highest joules that we can get out of this thing based on the load where it kind of, uh, kind of peters out at. And then we can also see how often it pulses, like how many, how often does it tick. And then we can also see how long is that uh, shock beam, how long is it on the fence for um, when the actual, the duration of the shock itself. So, you know, like when you look at these things, the voltage wise on the display, they're always like 13, 12, what, 15, whatever it is on the display. They'll never read that high on a, on a fence tester, at least a, a good quality one. They kind of float around 8, plus or minus, most times. So, what I've got so far, I've got the meter hooked up to the terminals on the fence and ground outside here. Probably a board. Um, very smoky looking inside. Yeah. Alright, well, let's do a no load. This is going to be a peak voltage, what we can get out of this thing. So let's turn this thing on. And then we'll plug the unit in here in just a second. Alright. Bounce around, we're right around 8 kV roughly, what we're kind of getting, kind of floating around there a little bit. Alright, we're at no low, so let's move to, we'll go to 1000 ohm first. Alright, so far we're at 1.2, 1 1.1, 1 1.2 joules output. That's 6500 volts, so we lost. About 1,100 volts under this type of load. Let's go to 500 ohm load. Uh, 1.4, 1.5, and about a little, um, a little less than six. So that's another about 1,000 volts, 500 volts, somewhere in that range. At 1.4, so let's go to a 200 ohm load. At 200 ohm load, we're down to 4,000 volts. It's still at one and a half joules, roughly. Not changing much between 500 and 200. Didn't seem like it phased it too much. Let's go to 100 ohm load. That's a pretty heavy short to it. Right now, now we've saturated a little bit. Now we've actually dropped down in joules, went too high, and now we're at 2.7 kV at 1.3 joules. Look at the front. Now it's <laughs> we can see it on the front there. So let's go back to 200. 1.4. So this thing climbed up to three, and reading four there. So we'll go back to 500. So it seems like it's a one and a half joule unit, roughly, is what this thing is. So one and a half joule output. About the max that we're getting out of this thing, because 200 didn't change too much, 100 is, so probably somewhere in the middle, like 150 only, where I've seen the peak, 
but between 200 and 150 ohms, not a real, real big difference. Um, so we might have seen it. It would probably still would have been less than two joules. So it's about a one and a half to two, about one and a half joule unit is what this is. Huh. Not as stout as I thought it would have been, jewel wise but Parmate kind of has a little trick up their sleeve. They're, they got really short snap and transformers in their units. So these, so they can, they can throw a nice spark, even though the jewels isn't real high. You know. I don't think I got a screwdriver. Yeah, I got a screwdriver here. We'll uh, jump across the terminal so I'll show you. You know the jewels isn't real high, the spark to throw is. So we'll go from let's see, reach. We'll touch the ground. We'll get really close to the fence. So that's a little trick, so unless that's something to do with the uh, Something to do with the transformer, but it's a one and a half joule, but it has a nice, you know, about a quarter inch spark jump out of the thing. So it's pretty good for what it is. But there you go, if you're ever inter interested in what that the joule unit is, there you go. It's a one and a half joule output unit, probably like three stored. I think on the website it says three plus high and one plus low or something like that. So there you go. That's what you got. All right. Well, thanks for watching our channel here and our video. And if this interested you, you know, give, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to our channel, if you haven't already, we appreciate that as well. But we are a repair shop. We're working on these different fence chargers. And um, get free estimates and year and a half warranties. Till next time, see you later on.